Hey guys, welcome back to Make You Locos How To's. Now you're probably wondering, why is this guy have sunglasses on inside? Does he think he's cool or something? No, we're about to go outside and do a little experiment. The problem we're having is that garage door opener right there with the lights on does not work from the outside. The other one's in here, no problem, on the other end, okay? But this one right here will not work from the outside. And it's had a recent change to LED bulbs in it. And we're going to go outside, we're going to show you what's going on, what the symptoms are, and then we're going to come inside for the fix. Okay, now just to verify and show you on camera, this remote does work, brand new batteries, everything works just fine. We're going to hit it once, it opens just fine. Look how close we are to it though. Now, let's go outside. Once you leave the garage of your vehicle, you get just outside of here, and you try to close it closes okay you drive off and you go on your merry way let me come back watch what happens okay now it's closed we're coming back home hitting the button nothing no response look how close we are to it now usually these things work from the street now this is a long driveway but you get the point though pulled up and nothing's happening it opened when we left let's keep trying it last time it took about a foot from the garage door and it worked there it goes two inches it works no trickery you want to know why that's happening? It's all because of those darn LED light bulbs. Believe it or not. Now the way I figured this out is that my old house, I changed from incandescent to CFL to LED. Made sense, the prices came down, and I started having problems. I could not uh, open the garage door from down the street anymore. I used to be able to do it around the court curve from my house. No problems. I knew something was up. Came here to the new house. Sure enough, they had the LED bulbs in here. And this garage door was the only one giving me the fits. This one right here. So it kind of threw me for a loop there until I put two and two together. These other ones, they also have LED bulbs in them. But there's only one bulb in each one of these. See it right there? This one has two. So it's twice the interference, and that's exactly why uh, the remote signal is not able to reach the antenna. I mean, look how close the antenna is. Let me see if I can get you up in there. How close the antenna is to the ball and all the interference. So just to show you guys that I'm not goofing, that this is real, what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the bulbs, take them out, and then we're gonna do the same test, and then we're gonna show you the bulb that I recommend if you wanna still save energy, but be compatible with these garage door openers. All right, the bulbs are out. We're gonna use the same remote, same thing, upside down, just like this. And we're gonna go outside and see what kind of range we can get. So we're leaving, vroom vroom, we're out of here. We close it. problem da, 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 da. nice long driveway here to test it out on and let's see what kind of range we can get we're gonna start off on the street and we're gonna go from there now ideally you should be able to do it from the street here even though this is a long driveway so right there we can see it button upside down and it works Boom. Now, let's go across the street, huh? No trespassing someone's property. Let's do it again. Works. So it just goes to show how much interference is coming out of those darn bulbs right there next to the antenna. And uh, it can be misdiagnosed very easily. 
and that's the whole point of this uh, message, this video. Uh, so let's go inside and I'll show you how it reacts with the CFL. All right, now this right here is my go-to for bulbs in a garage door opener. We have two of the 100 watt CFL bulbs in there, provide lots of light, low energy consumption, and they handle the vibrations of the door opener, no problem. So let's go ahead and try the same experiment from the street and see how far we can get. Ta -da, ta -da. Let's go and try it out. Let's go ahead and close it. So we have the interference of the door blocking the signal, make it accurate, and let's go to the street. Let's start from across the street like before and let's see what we got. Opens. So we have the CFL bulbs on and door closed. Still, it opens like it should from uh, the street. So you have it open by the time you pull up the driveway and into the garage. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. I'll link to the bulbs I recommend down below. I'll see you next time, guys.